thank you for your submission, guys. Also, thank you for adding your names. You're the first group that put everybody's names. So, yes, the lat is very important, or latissimus dorsi. I should probably use the entire muscle name. And it does go all the way up to the arm, and it's sneaky about it. Here's the lat. So see, it's sneaking, it's sneaking, and actually goes all the way underneath. Let's hide that. So it's going all the way underneath to the anterior side. So see, it's sneaking underneath the biceps there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So it's snuck underneath the bicep, and there it's going by the intertrabecular sulcus. It's a little bit underneath the tentacle. So far, the frontalis has gotten two votes for easy for boring and one vote for easy. The other group thought the occipitalis, its buddy, was the boring one. So yes, it's not the most exciting muscle. It does let you lift your eyebrows, I guess. That's exciting, isn't it? No? Okay. Thank you for saying the intercostals are hiding. Because we have to get rid of the pectoralis major. And here are the intercostals. And I don't know why the coastal cartilage is missing right there. That was bugging me. So here's the intercostals and there's the rib. So here's the external intercostal. Then underneath that, we have the internal intercostal. So that is really annoying that's hiding. And be careful that you don't confuse it for the pectoralis minor. Again, like I said in class, a lot of students confuse them. And I would be a millionaire if I had a dollar for every student who did that. Thank you, guys.